<laughs> Twitch chat just goes grr. <laughs> Alright. Hello everybody and welcome to J Smith's first impressions on Guacamelee. I got something super exciting. I have one a crazy wrestling type game that's also a Metroidvania thing. Um, but I also have a super wrestling Metroidvania man with me, Player Uno. Hello. It's glad, I'm glad to have you here, buddy. I'm, I'm glad to be here. I'm also glad that you said I was a super Metroidvania wrestling man. You are. That sounds like the coolest intro ever. <laughs> I wanted it to be, be to be good, it, it, to be worth it. Um, so I kind of, this is kind of a lie because I played this game before. I played it at PAX East uh, briefly. Uh, it's now available on Steam and previously it was only available on the PSN by Drinkbox Studios. I think it's $15. Uh, go check it out if you guys are interested. But I'm going to get into it. I played, um, it's a, it's a co-op game. But it's only local co-op, sadly, and so Player Uno can only watch. I'm I love watching. You love what? You love your your voyeuristic I'm a voyeur. man. I'm a voyeur, if you will. You're a voyeur. I am a voyeur. You just voyeur. Is it voy? What is it in English? Is it voyeur or voyeur? Is because in French it's voyeur. It's I don't voyeur. I think voyeur. Okay. It's kind of like a no, because I was gonna say like a foyer, but those are foyers, right? Uh, yeah, that's different. Uh, I don't know. So I'm, I'm, I'm this man. This is me. I'm running around. I love the art style, by the way. Big that's some thing. sweet style. Yeah. So I'm, I'm this, I'm this uh, Mexican man, and I'm a finally awake. And noon is upon us. The sun is at its zenith. Zenith? I can't read. Sun about festivals. Uh, I don't know. Zenith? Zenith? Z e n i t h. I think it's zenith. But I, I'm not a I'm not a uh, astrological scientist man that knows about planetary suns and the positioning of them. What is that? Why is this ground brown? It's red actually. I don't know. I'm gonna go to uh, Pueblo Quata. Did you uh, did you beat this when you played it? Oh no, you only played it at Pax East. Right? I only played the original. I didn't. I never played this part at Pax East, so I don't know what this is. Like I started what was on the demo? and I was already a wrestler. There was there was chicken people involved. I could turn into a chicken, I believe. Um, but this guy's the the luchadors are practicing for the upcoming Dia de los Muertos tournament. I can't let you pass. Are you are you a a, a luchador technically? I don't know. Uh, I guess well luchador just means wrestler in Spanish, so yes. And also most luchadors wear a mask, and I also wear a mask. Right. So double yes. Double yes. Mm -hmm. Double. The, it's like as. It's like the gum, double, double mint gum, except double the yes. Yeah, so I'm, I'm like exactly like the gum and exactly like luchador. You're like, oh, do you think there's like a Mexican gum that's called luchador? Oh, I, if there isn't, I think we have to make the investment. I could, I, I could probably invest in that. Right underneath in, in Spanish, it needs to say, it packs a punch. This is, this, I found the statue of you. It's in the game. Here you are. He has big chesticles. You probably wish that, you had that. That is me. Yeah. No, I don't I don't have that kind of muscle definition. Oh. Yeah, it's unfortunate. It's all the pizza I eat. Actually I just ordered pizza, so Do you what you know. what's your favorite kind of pizza if you had a pizza? Um I like Hawaiian, but no one likes that. That's like the pan pineapple ham one. Right. You the uh, Hawaiian's your favorite. Yeah, yeah. That or like pepperoni and bacon is, is just always good. Yeah. I'm not a vegetable kind of guy. I like um I like uh chicken. I like, uh, and, and onions, and, and, uh, what else is good on a pizza? Like, the, the white sauce, uh, and also spinach. That's, that's my favorite. I actually, uh, just recently, there's this place that does, like, these crazy gourmet pizzas in Ottawa, and it's, uh, Chipotle sauce Ooh. and Kraft Dinner on that's a pizza. Kraft Dinner? Yeah. Is that, like, macaroni and cheese Kraft Dinner? Oh, and hot dogs as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah like, like mac and cheese. I don't know about that, man. You know what? I went in thinking that it's going to suck, and I was just buying it to be like, yeah, having a mac and cheese pizza. But it was delicious. Hmm. Tasted fantastic. Mac and cheese on the pizza would be good. Hot dogs, I'd be a little, like, you know, well, if I'm eating a delicious pizza that's, like, gourmet, supposedly, hmm. the last thing I kind of want is, like, a, a hot dog on there, you know? No, when I think gourmet, I think, like, exquisite feast, and that's definitely not yeah. what mac and cheese is. But, but I don't know, that's, like... Well, I don't know, man, because mac and cheese can be gourmet. You can never, you can, you can have 
gourmet mac and cheese. It's yeah, like it depends delicious. on the cheese, I would assume. It depends on the cheese and how you make it and how it's prepped. Yeah, like, as for you... hot dogs, though, that's like the lowest of foods. Yeah, exactly. It's just like, oh, you have a hot dog. Like, you can cook that, like, one Two different way. ways. Yeah, <laughs> two ways, like on the grill or in the microwave. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> uh, how do you like your hot dogs? You like, uh, okay, obviously grilled. Um, yeah, definitely grilled. Char and, uh, to a crisp? Uh, no, no, I like uh, just lightly, like where you could just, like, light brown traces on it. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, I like, uh, I like... Spicy mustard on it. Spicy mustard's good. Yep. Um, I'm in this uh, burning down mansion. I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, but I'm gonna fight someone, I think. You're gonna fight the mansion. There's a this uh this guy. He has he's got a whip. He's like Zoro, except a skeleton Zoro. Far from oh, that's the Agave a Chara or something like that. Mm -hmm. I played this earlier today. So. Yeah. Yeah, I, I beat it when it was on PSN, and I also just did a first impression of it. Oh, really? Yeah, it's coming out tomorrow, so. Wait. Oh, okay. I was like, well, the game's already out today. Yeah, but I mean, the video will come out tomorrow. Gotcha. I came out. I played the game today. YouTube.com slash the Nerd Slam. Yeah, you can find me and mostly me. <laughs> There's, you got guests. Got other yeah, people. we've got friends on there. There's a, We have other mask guys, so mm -hmm. don't assume every mask guy is me, which most people think it is. Ah. Uh. It's not the case. You're the you're the one who cooks, though. <laughs> no, that's not me. That's not you. No, everyone thinks that. I thought that was you, and I was like, Player Uno has like this weird Italian accent going on. Yeah, no, that's not me at all. Uh, no. I can't do any accents. I can't even do my own accent. You can. Oh. You like can do if your you own accent pretty well. So I I totally thought that was you. That was my mistake. That's okay. Everyone everyone thinks I cook. I mean, I was on one episode. And I cooked pancakes. I love pancakes. Yeah, do you like pancakes or French toast more? Ooh, that is a classic debate. Yeah, that's uh, a hard one. Um, overall, probably French toast as like a kind of like a daily thing. Like if I had like one choice between like a daily breakfast, I would probably take French toast. But every once in a while, I get like the hankering for for pancakes, and that that always exceeds like a, a hankering that I would ever get for French toast. I always feel like pancakes, what happens is you want pancakes real bad, and then you'll cook like six of them. Yeah. And halfway through the second one, you're like, I don't want pancakes anymore. Yeah, totally. It's kind of it's kind of like a handful of popcorn. You have a handful of popcorn, and you're like, okay, I'm done eating popcorn, but you have a whole bag of popcorn in front of you. I thought you said a whole hat full of popcorn. Uh, you could do that too if you want. This You could probably fill this mask with popcorn that I'm currently looking at. You know what? Maybe I'll take a picture of me filling up my own mask with popcorn. Yes, I like that idea. Okay, I'm gonna do that later on. So I'm I'm a luchador guy now. I have big old chests and yep. a, and a wrestling belt. So you've played this game to to the to the finish. Yes. How do you like it? I love it. It's a really fun game. Yeah, I played it uh, twice actually. I did it on my own and then I played co-op with my fiance. Mmm. Uh, I guess I'm supposed to talk to this this monk guy. I guess I'll do that. Hint of church. That guy's just a barrel. Anyways, um, yeah, I, I I like the way that this game kind of already handles and feels. Uh, I haven't, I only had that first, I don't know, kind of like jump into it at, at PAX East a while back. Um, but it's definitely a game that's been on my radar. And since I don't have a PS4, uh, this has just kind of been. Uh, I don't think anyone has the PS4, Josh. Or PS3, excuse me. I don't have a PS4 either. But you know, you're waiting till PS69, aren't you? <laughs> you're waiting for PS69, Xbox 69, Wii 69. I would totally get a Wii 69. Yes, me too. It's so much better than Wii U. Do you uh, own a Wii U? I do not. I own it, but I've played maybe ten times. What uh, what games do you like for it? I only have the Mario Wii U game. That's it. That's it? No wonder you don't like it. Why is this guy? That's it. Keep rolling into the swipe. Why? Is no, you're supposed to dodge it. I can't, I don't know how to, do oh, found it. Okay. Figured it out. Riddle the Sphinx. I should probably read some of these things. It'd probably be a good idea. But, I'm um, too busy. Fighting them. Alright, there we go. Just saving the day. I'm the, the monk's savior. Alright, get him out of here. And here we go. I got an you achievement get... unlocked. You proud of me? Yeah, I'm real proud. You should get a mask of your own, Josh. Oh, 
There would be like, it'd be a 69, obviously, right? Yeah, for sure. So, I think that's center in between your eyes. You think, of, okay, I was thinking like the eye sockets, like the one on the left would be oh, like, yeah. like, you know, the six and then the kind of like the nine on the other side of it, right? Oh, that would be fantastic. I wonder if I could do that. Uh, I could get it done for you for sure. Really? Yeah, I, I don't know if you'll wear it a lot, but. I, I would wear it at least once when that would make it all worth it. Maybe we should wear them while drinking at PAX East. Ooh, that sounds like a fun time in my life. Yeah, we'll get right. dueling sixty-nine masks, and then we'll and then we'll we'll wrestle, and then you're gonna finally suplex me. Yeah, I, I've never been one to be like suplexed by a man so hard in my life. Like, <laughs> I just want you to beat the hell out of me. That's that's a weird thing to say, but that's what I want to happen. Yeah, the the fanfics are gonna start appearing after <laughs> this. What is this? What's up, man, bro? You want the stuffs? Cause I got the stuffs. I want the abilities or costumes, or I could just walk away. Ability sounds good. I don't think I can afford any of this. I don't have very much gold. But I want a I, mask. The costumes is actually something that's completely new to this version. Ooh. Yeah. <gasps> There's a chicken suit? Yep. Why don't you ever want to be a chicken suit with me? All right. So I can beat this. Okay. So tell me a little bit about this gameplay, Uno. What is what am I doing? What is all the cutscenes that I just skipped over? Okay. Well, overall, you're playing as Juan, and Juan dies unfortunately and goes to the land of the dead. Yeah. And uh, within the land of the dead, he finds a mask. And, yes. Uh, so I guess the city is overrun by. I think his name is Charo, the Skeletor Man. Yes. And uh, that player on uh or that player that character. It just kidnapped your love interest, which is the president's daughter, so El Presidente's daughter. Oh no, not and, El Presidente. Yeah, and so your whole mission is to save the land, find your love, and uh, suplex people. Oh, suplexing is so good. I know. Pressing I Y feels feels like a champion. And throwing across the screen. Ooh. Throw yeah, I love the, bat the fighting system is great. Mm -hmm. Plus, you get to learn suplexes at later points. Right. So there's a whole kind of uh, leveling up scheme, schematic that you kind of go through. You learn mm -hmm. different move sets, maybe different combos. Yeah, you learn like, uh, I think there's four different skills that are attack based and then you have different maneuvers. So you can do a pile driver or a suplex. Mm. Uh, you can eventually, there's also a lot of platforming elements at later points, mm. uh, like switching in between dimensions and uh, scaling upwards and double jumps and so on and so forth. I like Jaguar Javier. Javier, Javier, Jaguar. He looks great. Yeah, I want one. I want to be that guy. He's Imagine if you old... had that as a pet. There's <gasps> like a luchador cat. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I want to hang out with him. Oh, wait, he's beating me up. He fired me, and then he murdered me. Oh, I guess uh, I fell. Can I buy anything from here though? Still don't have any money. All right. Fair enough. So where? Like, oh, I just died again. Is there really? Uh, I jumped in that green stuff, and that teleported. Is that what happens uh, when you die in this game? It's yes, kinda... you just go back to the uh, the beginning of the map. Ooh, all right, okay. I can get behind that. Yep. Just trying to, to platform my way over here. Is there a lot of like kind of going back and forth between uh, places? Like, well, I think it's a lot like most Metroidvanias, where a lot of the places aren't accessible until you have all your skills. Mm -hmm. So you come back sometimes, but really the main advantage of coming back is getting all the secrets and getting the add-ons. Like you just picked up an add-on for, I believe, stamina. Right. Um, so coming back, some of those are only accessible when you have your triple jump and your scaling. Mm. So it's, it's just like Super Metro, you can explore most of the areas, but you can't really do anything until you have like the Super Ball and, right. and, and the bombs and so on. Yeah. You I gotta think... kind of like make yourself able to access the different place by by different upgrading systems. Yeah. So down A. Ah, okay. Because I can't I can't scale this wall, so I've got to uh, down A. I get it. I, I love it. that that you have me on this call, unrelated to guacamole, but somehow I'm this guacamole guacamole expert. Yeah, dude. You know everything. I got you in here because it's your birthday, and this is you know a wrestling game. And then you also just know everything about it, apparently. Yeah, I, I, the second I got the game, I played it right through, so. That hurts. Wait, this is a big old chicken. Press to run through the spikes. It's awesome sauce. All right. Left trigger. Ah. Uh, you never tell me about red left trigger. <gasps> oh, wait. Except that one time that you did. How do I? Yes. Hmm. You can jump and press left trigger. Gotcha. I'm learning. Hey. 
You kind of do like that Super Smash Brothers block when you jump up. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I like that. I feel like, oof, I don't know. I feel like, powerful. Yeah, I feel real, real, oh no, it's like a Mega Man boss. These guys are pansies though. I can help Mega Man. These guys like nothing. Get over here. Weird skeletons. Why are skeletons such like a, a thing in video games? Like every, everything has a skeleton in it nowadays. There's like the I don't know. Zombies. Well, it's like zombies, skeletons, vampires are like your typical enemies. That or plants. I don't know why plants became a, a constant enemy. Why does everyone want to beat up a tree? Dude, trees, I don't get it. They're the the natural enemy of man. How? What? Maybe in the movie The Happening. That's about it. <laughs> Have you that ever seen a, that movie? I love that movie. It's, it, it has a bad rep. It's good at being really bad. That's no, why I, I, I like think it, it was supposed to be like a B movie. That's I, how it feels. That's how it does feel, right? Yeah. So I definitely want a heart chunk, right? Oh yeah, you definitely want that. All right. Get in the heart chunk. Ooh. I love I love the colors in this game. They're mm -hmm. bright and vibrant. It's so much better than like the gloom and doom that we see a lot of times in games now. It's like yeah, this is the game that's like fuck yeah, I want to be happy. And that's right, like, it's colorful all right. over. Chesticles, breaking things open. Can I talk to that guy? Can't talk to that guy. All right. I can dig it. Ooh, wait, that was a totally like Metroid statue, right? I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know which one you're looking at. The one, I'll was... see it in a sec. Okay. Uh... It was poor this goat creature guy. Oh yeah, yeah, pretty much. Mm -hmm. That's pretty darn similar. Yeah. Uh, so this guy, is he gonna turn me into a goat? I hope so. He keeps talking to me. And groping himself. Kalaka, the temple, El Presidente's daughter, and Javier, J Javier, Jaguar Javier. My former student. <laughs> Why don't you ever train me, player you know? If you want me to, I'll do it, but I'll tell you right now, it's not much fun. Oh, really? It hurts. Oh, man, it hurts. It hurts so good, baby. I love that everyone's telling me happy birthday in the in the stream. It's your birthday. Aren't you happy? Every day. I got a rooster uppercut now. Oh, I only have so much stamina. Okay, gotcha. So I can only... Ooh, now I can break the red blocks. Got it. Man, this game doesn't know what hit it. It is me. So I answered that question. <laughs> How long is the game? You mentioned that. Um, it took me about five, six hours to do the main story without doing any of the extra stuff. And then I did all the extra stuff on my own time. Yeah. Uh, but that got really difficult, so it took me about eight hours, nine hours. I think I got stuck. Yeah, I. right now it looks like you're stuck in some spot. How did I get stuck? How do I get unstuck? Uh, you might have to quit and go back in, but it'll save the last place will be at that shop. Really? Yeah. Huh. All right, I'm back. <laughs> uh, and we'll we'll try this. Again. All right, there we go. Okay. So I'm supposed to go up here, right? Oh, I, I believe now, so. Now it works. So that was that was that was confusing. It's probably just some slight glitch. Yeah, sure. <laughs> it's a first impressions video, so it's a, I guess it's loud, right? I I guess so. You know. It's not like you're not liking the game because of the glitch. True story. True story. Uh, the the coolest part about the glitch is that um, it didn't really affect the gameplay. All I had to do was like go back to the menu. Yeah, so you didn't really lose the glitch any was progress. There, right. Hmm. Even though glitch existed, it didn't hinder gameplay. <laughs> so in so case anyone at home says, "Oh, there's a glitch in that some bitch," uh, I don't want it. No, you might still want it. Somebody uh, in the Twitch chat said, Uno's life glitch, now his birthday is every day. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a lie. It's not, I'm, I'm like 86 year old, years old now, according to, <laughs> to when we started the birthday. When was, that actually did start on your birthday then. Yeah, that was a month ago, I think, almost. I don't, wait, yeah. This is my actual birth. I completely forgot when my birthday was. For How do you forget when your birthday is? Well, I've been. Someone tells me my birthday every single day, so oh. I, I got confused. That's true. I get um I get confused on how old I am. Every oh, once I, in a while. all the time. I used to claim I was three years older than I actually was, 
and it took uh, someone from my credit card company to call me and ask me when I was born. Yeah. I told them the date, and they said, okay, so how old are you? And I said, okay, and I, I said how old I was. They're like, that doesn't match up. I was like, what do you mean? I said, well, you can't be 25. You're born on in 87, and this was like a couple of years ago. And I came to the sudden realization that this whole time, I was claiming I was 25, but I was only 22. What? How do you yeah. mess that up? I don't know. That's the thing. I, it's so stupid. <laughs> Like, I, I get confused by, like, one year, right? But you got confused by, like, three. I lived a really busy life, and I must have lived, like, four lives within the, the span of that one year. You're a wild dude player now. Sometimes. Is there a, is there a, is there a trick to the suplexes? Or is um, it... Like, where they should be thrown? Well, I mean, obviously the, the direction makes sense. Uh, but is there, like, a power meter that I'm looking at? I uh, know though, it's just when their health meter goes to, or like when you stun them, you can give them the suplex. Mm. But you also have, this is just the throw, there's an unlockable suplex at a later point, and I think that's like an instant kill. Uh, this suplex. Left B. Devastating suplex with a massive splash. Yes. I want it. I, I don't, want do you have enough for it? Of course. Oh, okay, well this good. This guy, he doesn't think I have enough for a suplex. Well, I don't know, man. Get over here and I'm gonna suplex you. Okay. <laughs> uh, wait. Oh god, I'm getting hurt. I don't like being hurt. I love the flashing text when you get a a add-on. Um, yeah, I like pretty much anything in this game. Um, yeah, it's great. I'm really loving it right now. I'm super scared in this point in my life. A lot of dudes in this particular area <laughs> yeah that's like a reoccurring thing they give you that Mega Man room uh, mm. quite a few times but you're always rewarded when you beat it you get right. a ton of money I, I, I'm a I got an achievement unlocked for a combo nerd and I got Santa Gold Lipa for uh, my combo I don't know Sweet. what that means do you speak I Spanish no I know that you're... Uh, I always actually I learned Spanish years ago and then never used it so yeah. I understand some of it but i don't speak it very fluently what about french oh yeah i'm fluent in french i was born french you're born french like in yep. france french or like no no uh Quebec, french canadian french. so french canadian like like surly ugly french is that surly an ugly french oh yeah it, if you compare our language to the french language from france yeah ours looks like the bastard retarded child really of, oh yeah it's awful oh i like that that's a, i'm gonna make fun of everyone from montreal <laughs> well, I think Montreal has become kind of a split city. It's like half English, half French now. Right. But you are from Ottawa? Yes. Um, well, actually, I'm across the river, but yeah, I'm from that area. Right. But is that mostly English, right? Yeah, it's mostly English. I, I live in like a English sector. Okay. I love how they're just like different sectors. I don't have yeah, well, that. it's at, like my area is like four different cities together that they just call Gatineau, Ottawa. Is there a lot of these little weird cities? Uh, um, I'm, I don't know, honestly. I guess so. I think it, it also works for in the States. It's really like the suburbs become part of the city. The city, not silly. <laughs> that was that was weird. Um, so like in Philly, there's there's all these suburbs around it, and they all count sort of as Philadelphia. But uh, you could I was talking about the game, but you could... Oh, okay. <laughs> Yes, there's a lot of cities. If okay. You if you look at your map, you can look at all the cities right now. Oh, okay. Hold on, I'm, I'm comboing these people. Okay. Who's this? I like this guy. Can I be this guy? I want to be a skeleton man. I don't think you can, but uh, they added a lot of features in this that wasn't in the PS10 one, so maybe. Mm. Like, the costumes weren't, wasn't there. There's a whole different challenge level, like El Inferno, that you could see on your map. That wasn't there either. Okay. Uh, there's leaderboards, and uh, I think there's other stuff as well. I messed up. I hate combos. I'm so bad at everything in the world of combos. Get over here, skeleton man. Succumb to my combo. There we go. I'm never gonna see like that. I'll never use that in game ever. Oh no, it's never gonna happen. I'm never gonna press up A X B up B X X X. I might say XXX, but it's Maybe probably like just a couple times. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm 
about porno or something. <laughs> Alright, I gotta I wanna see this map that you're talking about. Press okay. Ooh. Alright. So I guess this uh, weird skeleton man's where I'm supposed to go. Because he exists. And he's glowing. Alright. This guy has a what is what is on that is that a, is that a toilet on this man's? It looks like a toaster or a, or a toast. It has a handle, like it's gonna flush. It could be a toilet. Hmm. What? Can you see his name when you get over him? Nah. It's no, just, uh, that's it's unfortunate. Why? Yeah. I really wish he was a toilet man. I'm gonna go to the desert or talk to this guy. He's gonna be a treasure hunter. He's gonna let me know if he finds anything. Thanks, dude. Keep me in the loop. So, I, did I ask you this? Uh, how long does it take you to beat uh, this game? You asked me that about three minutes ago. Okay. And but, uh, five, six hours, roughly. Okay. I wasn't listening. I think people, Zero Doxy told me that they want to try, they want me to teach you French. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so let's, let's think of a, f like, fun phrase you could say in French, and then I'll teach you that phrase. Um. Should we ask Twitch, or do you have an idea of what you'd like? Uh. Um, let's say uh, let's let's do let's do like something easy like up down all around let's uh, let's all go to J Smith town. How, do okay. you, how would you say that? Um, en haut en bas. En haut en bas. Nous allons tout. Nous allons tout. At J Smithville. Ah J Smithville. Wait, how does? I don't know how you. Uh, how did I say that? Uh, that's it. Uh, as J Smith. Well, J Smith can't be translated, but no, no, no. Go, go through the whole thing again. I forgot yeah, how yeah. to say it. Au abba nous allons tout à J Smith Town. Au abba nous allons tout à J Smithville. Yep. Au abba nous allons tout à J Smithville. Yeah, I can get behind that. Yeah, you're pretty good. I, uh, I spoke. Uh, I took, I took like four years of French in, in uh, high school and a little bit in college. See that? I took four years of Spanish, but. All I can really say is like the very basics. Mm -hmm. There's a. I like all the memes in the background on like the boards and stuff. Like the, I'm sure Caballero Churros means like gentlemen churros. I think so. Uh, is this is this guy gonna eat me? I know he's one of the teleporters. So if you find more than one, you're able to teleport from an er one area to the other. Ooh, I like that. He probably said that if I read it. Probably. I just keep I pressing this, A. I did the same thing for my first impression. I just skipped all the text because I just want to punch people in the face. Yeah, that's all I want to do. I want to show people. The, I want people to explore the game for themselves, um, because it would take me too long to read all, what all these people say. This is just like, hey, check, take a look at this game. It's got really sweet visuals, and you can suplex the hell out of it. Oh, I'm in dark road. That's probably all you really need to say about the game. You right. get to suplex someone, and it's got sweet visuals. I, that sells it to me. Uh, you sell it, you deny it, and I'll I'll take it from you. Okay. <laughs> I do. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun with this game. Actually, uh, I I want to definitely play this again. Um, most notably, if I like actually took my time instead of rushing through like a ding dong. Um, because I wanted I want to know the story of El Presidente's daughter. You get to see her quite often too, so. Is this her? Uh, I can't see right now, but oh, she would see. tell you if it was her. I don't know. Oh no, that's not. That's uh, one of the villains. Oh, does she want to do it? Maybe. Actually, I think it's, at one point she uh, she, she does. tries to. Well, no, not that she does. I don't think they go so graphically oh. in this game, unfortunately. I like her hair. It moves in mysterious ways. It it does. Heavy. Heading? I feel like uh, like Foxy should be playing. Oh, I love that guy. Th I think this is like the the part in, that was in the uh, the PAX demo. Okay, this part right here. Yeah, because I remember play. heavy pet heavy petting being a thing that was said. And uh, probably at this point you were also they probably allowed you to turn into a chicken as well. Yeah. Can I turn? Into, I can't turn into a chicken yet, right? No, I think that's like one of the last skills you get. Oh, really? Yeah. There's weird things going on just about everywhere. Yeah, you're what I'm looking at right now, you're facing like weird ticky men. Oh yeah, there's there's a lot of them too. I, I got an achievement. Oh, I just realized. I, I touched you up down, but I didn't say all around. So you only said up down, let's go to J Smith now. Oh, classic mistake. Yeah. 
So, let's go. What is it? It would be Alanto. So it'd be uh, en haut, en bas, Alanto. Nous allons à uh, Chase Midfield. Au, wait. Au, en bas. Au, en bas. Uh, tous autour. Au, en bas, tous autour. Nous allons. Nous allons à Chase Midfield. Chase Midfield. Ah, I was, um, missed that. Oh. No, not, not the not the news along to uh, Jay Smith builds the, this jump that I was trying to make. Yeah, the platforming in this gets pretty difficult, which is like at first I liked it for the fighting, mm -hmm. but then when the platforming elements happen, I'm like, Jesus, this is much more complex than I thought it would be. Right. It's just it's not just one that as your usual beat em ups. It, it kind of feels a little weird. Mm -hmm. Um, like there's I don't have a double jump right now. I love double jumping. Can't do that here. Not yet. Um, but I like I like I like games that make you switch between like dark world and light world and when this game mm -hmm. is doing this it makes me feel happy in the pants. Um all right. Oh, pal driver? You damn right. Yeah, you want to learn that for sure. Play Uno. I'm going to pal drive you someday. That's really dangerous, but sure. Yeah, I'll do it. I ain't scared. Uh, I trust you, man. I'll give you a tombstone. That's practically standing up and doing a 69. I hope you know that. You act like uh, that's not a thing that you want to do or where you want to be. <laughs> I feel like you already knew that's what that was yeah. uh, beforehand. Oh, okay, good. I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm well versed in the wrestling. I was, I was more a fan in like the 90s. Yeah. That's true. You, you, you quote all kinds of wrestling themes all the time. Mm -hmm. no. That's all, That's always surprises me when someone that I don't expect likes wrestling. It just makes it feels weird am i supposed to block it oh wait i'm probably supposed to go to this world all right i get it there you are skeleton scum Hate uh it. when he's black you have to switch over to the other world yeah i figured that out a little too late when he's black you have to switch what if it's like... that that does sound pretty racist though. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right i didn't think you were when you're fighting a minority, you have to go to the dark world. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate... Oh, these things, they're like weird enchiladas. Not enchiladas. Armadillos. Armadillos are kind of like the enchiladas of the universe. I, I disagree, it. but... I, I've i never thought once about eating an uh, armadillo. Really? No, never. I wonder what it would taste like. <sighs> Probably pretty I good. I don't think I don't think they're even edible. No, you just gotta eat through the carapace. Okay. Right? Maybe. I don't know. Let's I mean, the meat might be... I don't know. It feels like that would be some really tough meat. I don't know, man. What, what am I doing with this guy? I don't know. I just crawled up a dragon. Okay. Hey, more Metroid. I got a, a goat. Hello, Mr. Goat. So you're telling me I can't turn into a chicken yet? Uh, no. That That's much later. Or much later, at least. I don't think you'll you'll meet it in the first hour. Right. That's too bad. Actually, turning into the chicken is probably one of the funnest things. I learned a goat jump. You impressed? Yeah, yeah, very impressed. Oh, I like goat jumping. Is there there is there a boss on the first? Is there like a? Is this dragon there's, gonna be a boss? There's four huge bosses, and then there's smaller bosses. So you might meet one soon. Okay. I wanna I wanna. I don't want to play the entire game, right? Okay, the big scary dragon's now gone. Um, do I go out here? I died. I don't go out there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the big old chicken. Hello, chicken. You might. Someone says that you learn to be a chicken after this temple. I thought it was much later. You're just real I bad hope at the game. You turned into a chicken. Maybe. Maybe it took me four hours to get through this part. Ah. I don't know how chickens do this. Get in there! <laughs> oh. Do you know how I'm supposed to do this? Uh, yeah, when you... Oh, wow. Uh, you jump against the wall and you press triangle to hold? Yeah. So but you have to jump on the left wall first. <gasps> left wall? Yeah, and then jump towards the right. Oh! Towards... That makes more sense. Yeah, think, about, think of it as the portals in Super Meat Boy. Right, I get you. 
Did you, right. Okay, all right. I, you finally did the other way. Yeah. I, I saw you do it. There we go. I I, I solved the riddle of the Sphinx there. Oop. You you're breaking things. You're throwing uh, things yeah, on the ground. Oh yeah, I just dropped my phone. You're an angry man, player. You know. Oh, someone's calling me. Who's calling you? Yeah. Is it me? Um, it might be the pizza guy. Is it Steve Austin? Uh, my fiance is currently talking to someone on the phone. That's not Steve Austin, unfortunately. That's too bad. Yeah. <gasps> she's, I heard her French. Yeah, she's actually fully English, but she speaks French as well. Mm. 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 I don't know how I, th how I feel about that. About so, English traitor. people speaking French? Yeah, traitor to the cause. Wait. Oh, she, she was answering a French person, so. A classic mistake. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> never talk to the French people. <laughs> well, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Uh, um, oh, got, that's difficult. Yeah. Um. There we go. All right. I got this. Wait a minute. Ooh, that's scary. That's a scary jump. Ow. All right. Don't. Do I need that? What's in the What's in the box? It's a uh, heart. Oh, what I do for love, player Uno. Uh, all kinds of things, I bet. Okay, it's true. I do a lot of uh, do a lot of things for love. Hearts for the hearts chat, etc. This is a scary, this is a scary game. So, do you not do uh, your face cam during impressions. Uh, first impressions? Not really. No. Okay. Um, especially like this is a nice looking game. I don't think I need it. No, I don't think so either. It'll, it would just distract from the great-looking luchadors. Exactly. You know, I love Twitch chat. I love my face cams. But <laughs> there's a time and a place for everything, I feel. I think so, too. All right, there's not yet. Yeah, this this heart container can go F itself. That, there's no time and place for that. Where do I go? Do I go in here? Where's I can't awesome? see where you're at. Oh, okay. There we go. Figured it out. Get out of here. Weird meats! There's weird meats in this game? No, I just call these guys weird meats. I couldn't ah, think okay. of a better name for them. Remember that one time I, I beat you in Super Meat Boy, though? Oh, yeah, and uh, because of that, now you can change my trailer for a whole week. I can't wait to do that. I'm waiting in anticipation. I hope it's just you reenacting Stone Cold Steve Austin's entrance. <laughs> <laughs> that might be it. That might be like, it. Like you kicking through glass in little black shorts, mm -hmm. and uh, and just walking with an attitude, and then guzzling two beers. How do I um? How do I do this? Um, I think you have to cross to the left without touching the portal. Cross to the left without touching the portal. So like you jump on that first platform on the right hand side yep. beside the portal, and then you try to jump between both portals. You're like the smartest the man in the universe. I sometimes, usually for video games. Although I'm not that great at them. You're not great at video games. I uh, know. I did a Spelunky daily challenge today, and I literally lasted one minute. <gasps> I, I that sounds something like I would do. Uh, I saw your, your score yesterday was zero. It was no, no, no. You that was it was probably racing at that point. Ah, uh, okay. Which uh, would make it a zero. But I totally scored more than zero. Ah, okay. Rest assured. I didn't score much better, I'm sure. I definitely didn't do better than a one my one minute. I looked at the scores, I was at, I think I was like place fifth or five thousand in the whole world. Yeah. So that's that's pretty awful, I think. Five thousand in the world doesn't sound too bad. Yeah, but I think I also played it very early on. Right, okay. That makes more sense. Yes. I'm currently drinking a root beer right now. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I was hoping it would be like a regular beer. I know, you You always love when I drink <gasps> beer for some reason. Big, big scary thing. Is this the boss? He's got uh, a heart. I can't see. But uh, you're probably just facing a mini boss. Oh. All right, well, he's big and scary. Yeah, um, those become regular enemies in later parts of the game. Really? Yeah, you have to face like two or three at the same time. Wow, that's pretty intense. Oh, he's, 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 he's tired. Classic mistake on my part. I um I thought I blocked there. Left trigger is block, right? It said no. Uh no, it's a, you have a dodge, so I think that's like with right stick. Unless it might be a trigger, I'm not sure. Yeah, it is. Oh. 
When's the last time you watched wrestling, Josh? Ah, uh, a long time ago, really. Oh yeah. Yeah. I watched uh, it literally 30 minutes ago. I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's there's there's not enough like people that I care about. Like the people in wrestling now, I feel um they're just like dudes. Yeah, they don't they're not full of character like everyone else. Like, yeah. So like, like I lo I still love watching it because I love wrestling itself, but mm -hmm. like it doesn't compare to when Stone Cold was there. Yeah, like you had Stone Cold, The Rock. Yeah, there's, there's, there's just a bunch of uh people that I could relate to as a, as a small adolescent child. Yeah. Who who were your favorites when you were younger? Uh Stone Cold, HBK, The Rock, were all great. Um it was really staples. I didn't like Triple H. I loved D Generation X though, like when that whole when he was saga, that was great. And that's where the suck it comes from? Yeah, that's where suck it comes from. <laughs> when when DX did their thing uh, against uh, the Nation of Domination, yeah. that was so <laughs> hilarious and like it was great. Uh, what did that what did that goat just teach me? Uh, Omex headbutt. Yeah, how did I do that? Uh, I think it's side and your your B attack. Side there you go. You already did it. You you did it to break the uh, the yellow bricks. Yeah, but I forgot. Um, how do I break these yellow bricks though? <laughs> your special attack and then sideways, I think, or just your special attack on its own. Just my special. Oh, okay. Yes, just special attack on its own does the trick. Um, do I have three thousand yet? How do I check my money? Where's my money? Two thousand three hundred. I still need seven. Thousand. To get what? Chicken soup? Uh, yeah. That's a long way. Is it, is it really though? I guess not. I, well, I wouldn't pay three thousand dollars for a chicken soup. You wouldn't pay three thousand dollars for I, you. You're not the man I used to love. <laughs> I personally wouldn't pay that, but I'm a cheap guy, man. Uh, I'm all about the three thousand. Am I back in this place again? I don't know where I go in my life. Don't be that stupid place. Okay, it is a stupid place, but I can break through here. It makes it a lot better for me. I just want to fight the boss, man. Uh, I think it's still a while before you find it. I might be wrong because really? I was wrong earlier, but. Hmm. John, Jay Smith, you forgot Ray Mysterio. I didn't really like Ray Mysterio. He was always like he was a WCW guy. Yeah, you you were more from what you were saying. You're definitely watching WWF. Yes. Point. I actually, uh, one of my favorites was D'Lo Brown, but I can't tell you why. <laughs> I didn't know, I don't know why. This is the frog why. splash, man. He did the yeah, head kind so. of weave, and then he did the frog splash. It was amazing. And he also wore, like, that protective vest. Maybe that's... <laughs> yeah. like, he did wear that. Safety first, I guess. <laughs> it made the frog splash more powerful. I think so. I think that that might be why I liked him. I don't know. I met him one day. It was pretty cool. Really? Yeah, yeah. What am I... I met quite of the few the people I, I liked as a kid. Uh, most of them were disappointing, though. Oh, who was who was the biggest disappointment? Can you say that? Yeah. Uh, so I met Bret Hart was like my my childhood hero. Yeah. And uh, I had a uh, I met him and he was on a show I, I was wrestling on, and uh, as I was about to go out to wrestle, he taps me on the shoulder, and he says, "When are you wrestling?" And I said, "Oh, I'm up next." He says, "I'm going to watch you wrestle," and like inside like the child within me was crying going yes this is the best moment of my life right uh then i go out to wrestle i come back you know uh say my thank yous to people and i go up to bret hart who's sitting on a chair and i say uh did you uh, have a chance to watch me wrestle and he looks up and he says what <gasps> oh no he had no idea who i was even though i'm the guy in a giant red suit and a mask he mm. had no clue who i was uh, it was pretty sad, so I stood there for a good 15 seconds with a tear running down my eye. Oh until, no! Until somebody interrupted me and uh, and took over the conversation by asking Bret Hart about his shoes. What, what were his shoes like? Were they pink? Uh, he was just wearing red Converse's, but uh, the other wrestler saw just how much in pain we were. <laughs> and he, and he, he came to save the day by just interrupting the odd situation. I can't, I can't do this, this puzzle. It's, oh, it's, it's really hard. Can't, what, what's beyond it? Do, do I want to get beyond it? Uh, I would assume so. I, I, you probably... Look <sighs> at your map. I don't look at maps. I'm going up here. I'm going to fight the demon man. I think I'm going the right way. Oh! I didn't mean to jump there. Wait, do I keep going up? I keep going up. Go up. Yeah. 
Do I know it down the way? Me? That's definitely the way you want to go. But I can't. I can't break through the red block because I don't know how to do that yet. Uh, is that your upwards one? Yeah, but it's my upwards one. But uh, I would be kind of going down at that point. Ah, you know, so. uh, that's true. So you have to go through the other path. Yes. Which I can do. What is this owl thing in the background? He's just hanging out. I guess he's um, just hanging out. Not sure. Live. <gasps> Whoa! Oh no! Jay Smith, don't die. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. I'm the greatest man at this game, by the way. Okay. You're getting pretty good. Breaking through blocks, going. Hey, it's the babe again. Hey, sweetie. She calls me Luchador. That's her. That's her pet name for me. <laughs> Something about cat snakes, sizes of houses. I'm hiding them. Raw. She sees she likes the WWF too. <laughs> I think she's flirting with you. I think. Maybe. She wants to truly tango, but then she disappeared and turned into a skeleton man in an armadillo. So I will fight them. And I can't. I really don't know how far you are from the boss because it's not really a straight path at any point in this game. You kind of go in zigzags on your way upwards. I could. I'm gonna do it. You gonna do it? You gonna get to the boss? I'm gonna do it. The boss battles are actually kind of difficult too. Really? Yeah, they're fun. Uh, there's there. Okay, so remember that one guy that I was scared of earlier? He's back, but he's also surrounded by armadillos. Yeah. Uh, what you could do is you could just throw the armadillos at his heart. Ooh. Give me here, armadillo. And uh, that will help you at least a bit. Oh, I missed. The armadillos, once they turn red, are pretty much screwed. Yeah. That's okay, I beat him. He didn't stand a chance. He did stand a chance. I am a liar. But, in the end... What's your favorite Mexican food, Josh? Enchiladas. My mom yeah. doesn't have an ounce of Mexican in her, I'm sure, but she makes fucking bomb-ass enchiladas. I was gonna make a, a, a joke about your mom, but I feel instantly bad, so I'm gonna take that back. What are you gonna say about her? She's a really nice are you, lady. Are you say, I was gonna say, are you sure she's never had a little bit of Mexican in her? She, I, mean, I don't know, maybe. She met yeah. my dad in Spain. Oh yeah? Yeah. Oh, okay, well, maybe? Maybe, I don't know. but my dad's not Spanish. Okay. So. Are they both from the same area? Nope. No? Is nope. your dad uh, a secret agent? He could have been, yeah. Trying to find a, a, a reason why they would be in Spain other than vacation. I'll tell you some sometime when you're older. Oh, okay, cool. When I turn, what? I'm like 86 now. <laughs> yeah. So in 14 days, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I'll turn 100. Yeah. What is? What am I doing? All right. Oh God. Platforming. The bane of my existence. Yeah, there's a lot in this. It gets so difficult. There's a in the extra stuff like you get a golden mask really? uh, that allows you like some special ability but uh, when you do it there's probably the toughest platform and element ever it's just hey. this giant non-stop tower that's just really hard to defeat you know guess what I got uh, you got the pile driver I got the chicken no the, the chicken costume <laughs> I got a chicken costume do you look awesome I look amazing this lady's oh, talking that. To she I'll loves my chicken great. costume she says Josh have you seen your chicken costume? I say, yeah, lady. I do. It matches my belt. <laughs> it's so much better than the other suit. It really is. Also, it just blatantly shows your face, so someone can definitely tell who you are. You might not be able to. Get, get through. No, press B and go. Oh, no. Big, scary creatures are going to eat me. How do I get past it? Uh, I can't see where you're at yet. Oh, you just got to keep running. Yeah. I think we need to get you a chicken costume with that 69 mask. That sounds pretty good. I'll be the chicken 69. I hope I do this right. Okay, I did. Weird platforming. Go down. Don't die. Hey, got it. Oh, that's like a Super Mario. Look at that. I like that a whole lot. And I think that was that was the uh, the bit that was in PAX. It was at PAX at least. This bit right here? That that last bit. I think that was the the ending boss. And so I did everything that I did at PAX and more. Which I will leave everyone at after I finish talking to this movie. Unless she's like turns into a boss or something like that. She might. Does she? 
I don't remember. <laughs> don't lie to me. Don't don't lie to my heartstrings. All right. So I think that's gonna be the end of my first impressions. First impressions are real good of Guacamelee. If you guys like this game, if you like how it looks, I think you like how it plays. And if you got a friend who's like in the same room as you, it's gonna be even better because local co-op is a whole lot of fun. What do you think? What do you think? I love it. I, I wish we were in the same room because the, the co-op's really fun. Yeah. It also makes it a lot easier at later points in the game. I believe. I believe it. All right. Well, thank you, everybody. Appreciate that. You can find Guacamelee on Steam uh, for about 15 bucks. And, uh, yeah. Big, big thumbs up from JSmithOTI. Big thumbs up from Player Uno. And if you disagree with him, he'll probably just suplex you to death. Yes, to death until you are nothing but ash. <laughs> All right. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Uno, for hanging out with me. YouTube.com slash the nerd slam.